Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Guys, is it the market shakedown or are we actually going lower? It's a good question, but honestly, uh, I will tell you quickly how things looked out for me. I was sitting in a picnic and with a girl, or the sushi outside, beautiful weather. Suddenly, I got the ring, my, my phone is buzzing. I check it out and I see I got a margin call on my long position. <laughs> she asked me how I feel. I'm like, <laughs> great, why would I uh, feel bad? F***ing <laughs> crypto, guys. Um, well, luckily I didn't get wrecked too bad, but honestly, guys, when it's super good and everyone is saying like, we're going higher, usually market fucks everyone, and suddenly, yeah, we have this situation. So now the question is, what's going on? I will tell you, I don't have a clue. But I see that a lot of coins, especially alts, right now are very on the bottom of the range. And especially with my favorite narrative right now, gaming and AI, that's going to probably at some point spark again. So in the video, we're going to go quickly through them. So you guys see what is that I'm currently looking at. Some of those coins are probably already mentioned in a previous video, but now they're really on the bottom of the range so i think it's worth to mention them again so guys smash the like button subscribe and let's go right guys so bitcoin last past week was basically bouncing 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 really nicely around 70k price range and altcoins were going crazy especially meme coins and then suddenly we see that it attempted to break through 72k and bounce back basically to oblivion to 68 and half k which is not really big but in this market, it like 5%, not even 5%, made all the shitcoins basically shit their bed. All the altcoins, sorry, not every one of them are shitcoins. But like, look at Tao. Tao just, you could have a chance to buy it for $310. So basically, guys, Tao dropped like 27% for a short time. And there was many coins like that, like Render. Render dropped 21%. A lot of a lot of coins have basically got this killer move to the downside killing all the longs probably on the way and now it's very interesting to see like how are we going to attempt the next break are we going to do it soon are we going to wait a little bit recover or maybe we're going to go down because next week is a cpi people are a little bit anxious about it there's many 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 scenarios but what i see on the market right now is that some of the coins are really on the bottom of the range AK risks to reward right now is better than ever if you assume that we're gonna have a bull run everything i show you right now is not a financial advice i did another small position on hash ai because uh, i'm really bullish on this gpu narrative and I think, like Sal Altman said in one of his interviews, this is going to be basically like a digital oil for AI. And we're gonna have more models and we're gonna have a lot of a lot of things that are going to again spark interest around this market. So this narrative for me is very strong and I see it uh, performing well in summer. You guys seen results of NVIDIA. Uh, NVIDIA stock is just pumping like crazy if you've seen nvidia is just on a run on a rampage up so yeah uh things looking very good so ash ai on the bottom of the range this one i added to my position node ai this is another very bullish coin that i added and it's also here on the strong support added same GPU narrative, so I'm kind of betting, I'm spreading my bets, and he, it has a similar market cap. So one of those two, I think, around this market cap is definitely going to be a winner. Probably both will pump, because both of them are really good projects. Then we have based AI. I saw a lot of whales were accumulating it. It made this price pump a little bit now, and now it's retraced, basically also like around 25 percent finding i think i hope finding a support here we will see if it goes lower if it goes here i'm definitely adding to uh, my position because it's going to be really nice if it goes from here to here 
I'm basically earning 200% on this move. That would be crazy. And I think it definitely can go higher. Nimbus Network, guys. This one is another interesting. They had a FUD. They were going nicely, but then one of the influencers started to basically chill that he's going to say that he's going to dump or he started to dump and he started to like threat the team that to give them more tokens so he started to fall they didn't want to approve this behavior so he started to dump and started to fad and uh, yeah and we have this situation now kind of they're still delivering everything is good but you know things need to kind of settle i guess and they're on the bottom of the range so risk to reward for me as a product that is really working okay delivering keep delivering news as you can see on their twitter things are looking good they have some announcements pretty okay following continue to work and Honestly, guys, for me, risk to reward, of course, not a financial advice, makes sense. And another one is that launched yesterday. And guys, it launched yesterday. It started from a 40K market cap uh, and it went crazy. You could basically maybe uh, catch it at 200, 300K market cap. But right now, basically, it's at 4 million and they just launched the number of holders are growing 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 they onboarded some good uh, influencers and it's really interesting project um so eve ai is ai bot that will try to catch basically all the twitter spaces and make some kind of like shortcut from all those twitter spaces he will make like a short stories uh short summaries which will give you alpha or like general idea what they were talking about with some clue informations which is really cool really useful and potentially can save a lot of time so interesting project new on the market and as you can see still pretty good i i think this might go higher i think this can easily go to 10 10 million but of course we will see how bitcoin behaves we will see how market is going to react but usually i see those bounce nice especially at the beginning if this one has fundamentals and seems like team is knows what they're doing they're based somewhere in europe they did not dox themselves yet but at, in soon soon we're gonna probably uh, see them being doxed i loaded my bags with it i'm not saying you should do the same but this is just another one that i'm trying to bring to your attention uh, because it's a small market cap and those as you know uh, might have a chance to get you the highest roi so yeah guys this is kind of how it looks like all right and last but not least my favorite project Game Swift. Guys, Game Swift had a solid run during this uh, bear, mar bear market and bull market. And you know, tokens that are performing good in bear market probably will perform good in a bull market. They said, right? In a bear market, perform good, then probably gonna perform good in the bull market. Yeah. So they had a really solid pump. They went all over from four cents basically to 70 80 cents and now they retraced to around 20 now they're sitting at 24 cents and bounced from around 19. so it's pretty down i'm not saying that's buy but risk to reward seems to be really good especially since they delivered the roadmap there was a lot of fear around unlocks but i think they're already priced in and another thing is that um, they were supposed to deliver their modular blockchain around march which they didn't turns out that they had a quarrel with polygon which were their partnership and now they changed for optimism and optimism guys is actually so the basically the same thing that this ba base is using so which is pretty fast scalable and i think my turn out to be even a better choice so right now they delivered the new roadmap and guys it's going to be wild so just this month there's a incubation program launch new gbac utility ambassador program by the way you can sign in still sign in for this one and there's some rewards and the best ambassadors will normally get paid like around thousand dollars a month so in many countries, this is a really solid salary, especially if you're around in Asia or like South America. Chain partnership, games with EVM modular 
public testnet, mainnet, and campaign. So this is only for June. Now we have Q4, and here Q4 they only have GS Pay card, but which is super bullish still, but they will announce way way more. And now we have first L3 chains, uh, launchpad platform launch. If of course DAO will vote, uh, will pass the vote, but I think they will. Chain nodes launch, which is also I think really good if it comes to demand because people will need to stake their game suit they will need to buy a lot of games to be the node operators and um, well this will probably you know make the price go up shared security vault games with treasury expansion modular saga continues next airdrop distribution dex listing and gs force ai product launch pretty goddamn good especially this gs force ai product launch in next quarter it will allow you to get the revenue from borrowing your computing power to ai very cool utility especially if you claim that there's not many gamers uh, in the web3 space then those people can still like get a uh, solid uh, revenue just by using the platform which is awesome and platform also gets the revenue it's it's 85 15 uh, split so uh, many cool things coming and i think that the price right now is extremely undervalued that's why i'm bringing this to your attention if you're watching this channel you know that i've been bullish on games just all the time and i still think that they're going to be one of the best gaming projects in this bull run but of course time will tell we will see i am biased of course i'm a big holder of this token uh, and also working as an ambassador but the videos that i'm doing are not because i am ambassador but because i have faith in this project and it seems to me that that's just my top one guys just remember that this is not a financial advice if you want to copy me keep in mind that i can lose everything and if you're doing as well as and if you're doing same as me you can do as well so keep that in mind if you're planning to do the same moves as i am doing everything i share here is just my opinion i don't have a crystal ball and with that guys please smash the like button subscribe helps the channel grow and and brings the food to the table to my kids that are screaming in the next room and yeah <laughs> okay enough with this bullshit guys have a nice day see ya